final races of the 1990 season for the Columbus Ski Club. The club's skiing season is 8 to 10 weeks and is packed with 22 races. Each member's best six times are compiled to determine club standings. Skiers are given two runs in the slalom and the giant slalom. With over 300 yards to the finish line and speeds from 15 to 30 miles per hour, one must have finesse and courage. The best combined times for each race determines the fastest man and woman of the hill. Mother Nature doesn't supply the snow needed for this competition, Clear Fork Ski Lodge can make their own, with a little help from a system called Snowmax. This system uses a special bacteria which was developed by Kodak that keeps the core of the water dry. When the treated water is added to the snowblowers, snow can be produced in temperatures as high as 28 degrees Fahrenheit. But before skiers hit the slopes, there are a number of things that need to be done. One important detail that can't be overlooked is the waxing of the skis. One starts out by edging the ski surface. This prevents metal filings from mixing into the wax. Once you have a smooth surface, a hot iron is used to melt a wax called toko. After the wax is melted, a flat edge metal plate is used to scrape a thin film over the prepared surface. Waxing prevents dipping and uneven turning and allows the skier to actually cut through the snow. Some of the other things that a skier must do to prepare for a big race include stretching exercises and scoping the hill. Of course, one must prepare for the cold in whatever way possible. We wanted to find out more about the Columbus Ski Club, so we talked to one of its champions, Tom Crawford. We have 13 clubs uh, throughout the Ohio Valley, which includes Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, and we get together uh, during the season and race against each other for the racing program, and then also sponsor trips that go locally and all over the country uh, throughout the ski season. Okay. How long is your season? We start when, whenever the area is open, which is usually the first or second week of December, mm -hmm. and go through until the first or second week of March, which is pretty much the, the season that we have here in Ohio. In today's races, we had both a slalom and a giant slalom. In a slalom, we have a lot more gates, and the gates have actually changed over the last few years. They originally were bamboo poles, and now they've gone to a plastic gate that actually has a hinge where it's uh, anchored into the snow, so it, it'll fall over as you hit it, but it'll also spring back up. They're not only safer, but they've changed the way that we ski the slalom races. We can go a lot tighter to the gate and actually move that gate out of the way. Uh, giant slalom is a longer, faster course. We have fewer pulls, so the turns are longer and rounder, and it gives us a chance to take advantage of the hills we have here by being able to race both disciplines. Around here, our average for slalom may be around 20 miles an hour, 20 to 25. In giant slalom here, we can probably get going somewhere as fast as 35 to 40. Can you explain about the prizes for uh, about today's club race? Yeah, we have 22 races that are scheduled during our season. We take the top six for everybody, and we get handicaps from each race, and it's an average of the handicap that ranks you at the end of the season. And the top male and top female racer, uh, and then all the ones on down the line from there are put into a prize pool. And we've been fortunate with the Ski Smith to have 
prizes of skis, boots, bindings, you know, top of the line things to choose from at the end of the year. And it's all based on, on how you've placed with your results for the season. After the races were over and the numbers were tallied, medals were given to the top finishers. Bronze, silver, and gold medals were awarded to the winners in each category. Now here is a look at the fastest people on the hill. Mm -hmm. 